WTFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman. I am the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour every day, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern Time, and the author of the opening call, giving you the Tiger Financial News Network 4 o'clock market wrap up. The Dow closed after being up sharply early morning and then taking a dive after the Fed speak comes right back and closes at the high of the day, five up 519 and 34,063. That is really important. It's bumping into the door in this left side chart. This is the daily, this is the weekly, this is the monthly, right there, right at the resistance that the repellent zone has been in so many times and has failed so many times at this third highest peak, peak C. Let's see if we got a rally that continues into Friday. Well, we're gonna be watching this closely because the, the shorts, it must have been waiting all day to, to get short, and then they got short, and then the market just sprang up, and they waited until just about the close. And you can see by the futures, look at this, this is the Eman is the March contract. Right at the end, even then, it didn't give up. It went right to the high of the day. So we were looking at this and saying, how are we going to manage tomorrow? What's going to happen there? And um, we got a reading today. We'll talk about that. Um, uh, in a moment, but the TLT is going to be important. But in the meantime, this is the S&P. The S&P closed at the high of the day. It needs to get above this inside track repellent zone. It needs to climb into the 4387 area. Then 4406 is the um, very strong resistance. We'll be watching this closely. If it can do that by Friday, hopefully no big pullback under 4300 between now and Friday. That'll be important. We're looking at the QQQ, the NDX 100, finally getting some strength, really having a good day, up 12, up 3.67%, at 340, closing at the high of the day as well. Almost a Mariboza candle, but just a really good candle, but not so great in the chart pattern until it starts to trade in the 347 area so you can get to the 358, 200 period moving average. That's asking a lot. IWM, the Russell 2000, also very strong. Now it's in this H, lowercase h to lowercase m pattern. If it's able to break above 206 between now and Monday, that's going to be really good action because it's held much better than the others altogether. Gold, gold came back a little bit after um, it's down just, a, oh, it's just, it's almost unchanged at 1929. Good comeback off the slide to 1895. It's the TLT we're going to be watching closely. That tried to rally, finally got up to $1.11. Hey, this is a bit of a turnaround so the deals can come back down a little bit. Have a wonderful evening. We'll see you tomorrow. And uh, stay tuned uh, for some peace later this evening at 9 o'clock. Tommy O'Brien kicks us Sharpening off. Sharpening your skills.